Most of us want to save time and become more productive with collaboration apps, whether you're using Slack or Microsoft Teams or any other app for that matter. And I'm here to make this easier for all of you. Watch this video till the end as I'll show you 10 awesome tips and tricks you must know about Microsoft Teams. Hey guys, my name is Deepak and if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing to get latest up tips on productivity and collaboration apps. So let's get started. Tip number one, using slash commands. Trust me, it would save you a lot of time and it takes time to get the hang of slash command, but once you use them, it is a game changer. Let me show you some of the ha most handy commands that has really helped me. Just type slash on the team search bar and you will see list of commands appear. If you want to see someone's activity in the recent past, or in team channel, just use slash activity and type the name of the person and you will see all the messages he has sent in team's channel. Very good way to track your boss or even teammates. Use slash org then contact name to see an org chart and other information about a user. I pretty much use it every day. If you have a lot of channels then you can use slash go to channel name and it will take you directly to that channel. Slash files will give you a list of files you have shared in Teams recently. So instead of trying to find the file quickly inside the channel, you can quickly open the last file that was shared with you. Easy. Tip number two, you can now find the time zone of your colleague or any other member of your org. So very much needed when you are in different time zones. Just click on the contact card to see a person's time zone and you can also click copy and share it on a chat. So instead of waiting for other site to spawn, just message them at the right time. Tip number three, if you want to quickly iterate and collaborate on a table or checklist, start using loop components within your channel or chats. So just go to loop icon inside a chat window, then choose checklist. And once you update it and send it, your team members on desktop or mobile can update it on real time and you will see the updates in real time. Again, saves you from unnecessary meetings as you can easily go asynchronous mode. Tip number four, use pin feature to get quick access to your favorite apps. So you can pin your favorite apps on the left bar. So click on three dots menu on the left bar and right click on the app and choose pin. This would pin the app on the left bar and you can easily access it anytime. Tip number five, if you have an important item or message you want to keep track of, you can now quickly pin a message in one-to-one -one chat or group chats. So go to a message and click three dots and choose pin and you will see the pin message on the top bar if you're in one-to-one -one chat. For channel chats, you can click on eye icon on the top and then scroll down to see your pin messages. Tip number six, get quick access to your team members you frequently interact by favoriting them. Just go to their name and just add them to your favorites for quick access. Trick number seven, press enter too quickly in a chat or a comment. Now you can quickly edit the text. Press up arrow twice to edit the sentence and then send. How easy is that? Tip number eight, Quickly create a task out of a team message. Click on three dots beside the message and go to more options. Choose create a task and choose the task assignment and timeline details. And you will see the task inside your planner app and you will be able to track it from there. Tip number nine, want to quickly share what was discussed in Teams via email? Just click on three dots right beside the message you want to share and then choose share to outlook. In the new pop-up window, just put the sender and click send on the bottom. Your sender will receive the message directly in his mailbox. Tip number 10, you can now set quick out of office message directly from Teams and it would also sync to your Outlook calendar. So you can go to three dots on the top right and in settings, scroll down to out of office, click schedule, Turn on the toggle for automatic replies. Type your out of office message. 
You can also select if you want to send it to external users and choose a time frame and save. So no need to go to your Outlook. You can just quickly do it from Teams. Easy. All right, this is the end of the video. So thank you for again for watching my video. Please do like, share, comment, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.